The Case of the Unhappy Cat Alice wanted help with her business. At the beginning of the year, her art therapy business started to pick up a little, and then she reported, All of a sudden, my clients kept canceling or people didn't show up. I know things happen for a reason, but maybe something in my energetic field or belief system is stopping me. Can you help? When I tuned in, I got the sense that space clearing needed to be done to clear the energies where she lives. I don't know if she had a cat or had a cat in the past or if there's a cat living in her neighborhood, but I got an image of a cat who is disturbed and unhappy by something that is in the environment. And this seemed to me to be connected to a traumatic event that happened on the land where the house is. The cat seems to be picking up on this trauma and the disturbing energies that are there. And I got the sense, too, that there was the energies of some person as well as an event that needed to be cleared. The residue of someone's energy lingering in that space that was also disturbing the cat. I do an energy healing to remove and clear all kinds of toxic energies and debris and any disharmonious and imbalanced energy in the space. Interestingly, as I was doing so, the spirit of the land wanted to talk to me. It said that there is grief and so much destruction, both human destruction and also natural destruction, and the spirit of the land is in a state of mourning. It is requesting that Alice do a ceremony to help heal. Alice is living in that place because she is somebody who can do this healing, she can feel the pain and suffering of the land. So the land asked for her to do a ceremony to recognize and give respect to the spirit of the trees, the water, the rocks, the elemental spirits, for a ritual is needed in order to transform the energies in that place. And the first thing is, is that they need to be recognized before the negative energies can be transmuted. I also get the impression that Alice is being called to do some work with the natural world and with healing the land in her own work. I don't always get feedback, but Alice wrote me back immediately. She said, I am completely blown away by your accuracy in that reading. The owner we bought the house from last year lost his dog, his wife to cancer, and his garage burnt down all in the same year, three years ago. When we moved in, we could smell his dog for the longest time. I'm pretty sure that my nephew who came to visit and had a treatment left some unwanted energy in our home. He is a powerful man and misused his energy on me from a distance in ways I can't even explain. I feel that he has also attached to my husband, but my husband doesn't believe in this energy interference. I do feel a distant energetic interference at least once or twice a week being directed at our home and relationships and my physical and energetic body. I had two cats. One is 16 years old, and she frequently stands at the top level of the stairs where the bedrooms are and cries like she is in awful pain for no apparent reason. I really appreciate your insights and intuitiveness, and I will definitely work with the elements to do a space clearing. It's nice to have my intuitions confirmed, particularly when I work from long distances and I don't know anything about the person who requests a healing. And one of the things that I like about being a shaman is that we understand that the world is alive. Trees, plants, animals, rocks contain consciousness and that what affects humans also has an effect on all living beings, especially cats. I'm Suzanne Legrand, and you've been listening to The Shaman's Notebook. For more insights and adventures into healing, subscribe below and visit me at 
suzannelegrand.com. <music>